I have another story for you from my truck driving days. Back in 2008, I was running back and forth between California and New York City. Hunts Point in the Bronx to be exact. But I took the usual routes. Sometimes it was 80 and sometimes it was Interstate 40. This particular time I was taking Interstate 40 through Oklahoma and I decided to try different routes. So in Oklahoma, I diverged off of 40 and took 44 northeast toward uh, into Tulsa, Oklahoma and into Joplin, Missouri. Now, the reason why I was going into Missouri instead of the usual route was because a friend of mine, who, who a co-worker actually, who was also a driver, it still is a driver, I haven't, I haven't seen him in over 10 years, but at the time, we saw each other quite a bit. He had a girlfriend that was a smoker. Now, I don't know if it's that way today, but back in 2008, Missouri had some of the cheapest cigarettes in the nation. So he asked me to pick up a couple of cartons of cigarettes for his girlfriend as I was coming back from California. So that's what I did. And I got to Joplin. Now, if you're not familiar with where Joplin is, Joplin, Joplin Missouri is the extreme southeast corner of Missouri. And I'm pointing that out because there, it's, at, it's actually at the crossroads of four states. Kansas, Missouri, Oklahoma, and Arkansas. And Joplin, Missouri is within a couple of miles of every one of those states. It's at the crossroads. They call it four states. Well, I pulled off to uh, in Joplin, which was one of the first, if not the first exit, one of the first exits coming eastbound into Missouri. And I pulled into a pilot truck stop. And I had, now I had never taken this route before, so I had no idea what was there. Well, anyway, I got out of the truck, looked up, and there it was. The Chrome Shop Mafia Mob Sled. Now, if you're not familiar with the Mob Sled and the Chrome Shop Mafia, they did a show back in 2006 called Trick My Truck. And I'm not going to explain it in detail here. Basically, what they did was they took older trucks and they remodeled them for drivers. But the Chrome Shop Mafia, they're, if they're not the most famous, they're one of the most famous uh, diesel truck refabricators and customizers in the nation. Now, I would known about Chrome Shop Mafia, but I never watched the show Trick My Truck. Actually, I, I take that back. I did watch a couple of episodes. But anyway, moving along here, you can see it for yourself. That's the mob sled. That's the truck that they had displayed at the time. Now, I'm sure by now they've got something different up there, but you never know. Since that first time that I've been there, I've, I've been back to the Chrome Shop Mafia several times afterwards. In fact, I was actually going to have them do some work on the my truck. But unfortunately, that never came to fruition because after a while, I wasn't getting out to the West Coast as often. So I had to make a special trip out. And by that point, I moved into other things. So it didn't happen. But I do intend on buying another truck. I'm thinking maybe in 2023 or 2024, I intend on buying another truck. Now, I don't intend to run it commercially. I, I have a different purpose for it. But if I do end up buying another truck, and it's more likely than not that I will... I am going to take it to Chrome Shop Mafia and have them do some work on it. So if you're still a viewer during that time, and you'd better be, I'll be doing a documentary on buying the new truck and you know showing you what the truck looks like and then me taking it to Chrome Shop Mafia and getting the work done. There's also a place in Pennsylvania, uh, in Lancaster, I can't remember the name of the place, but they do good work too, so I may do the work there. But I'll probably get work done in both spots. There's uh, there's a couple uh, places that I know of. There's the Chrome Shop Mafia. There's that place in Lancaster. Like I said, I can't remember the name. But I contacted them, and they were nice people. And they, you know, they were willing to work with me. There's a place in Elizabeth, New Jersey called the um, Elizabeth Truck Elizabeth Truck Center. And that's where Richie Acosta... If you, I don't know if you're familiar with Richie Acosta, but he had a black Peterbilt called Project 350. Big, long truck. But... Uh, you might be familiar with them, you might not be, but if you're not, that's okay. But Elizabeth Truck Center in New Jersey. And then there's the K&L Chrome Shop who took over the Trick My Truck show after the Chrome Shop Mafia. I don't know how long Chrome Shop Mafia did the show. I don't think it was but a season or two, maybe three. I, I'm not sure, but I do know that K&L Chrome Shop took it over after them. Now, K&L Chrome Shop, that's K&L Chrome Shop, they had two shops at the time. They had one in Lynchburg, Virginia, and they had one in South Carolina off of I-95. Now, I don't know if they're still around. I'm sure they probably are. And then you have other places that do custom work, too. But those are the places that I know of, and I've seen them all.
I've seen the Elizabeth Truck Center. I've seen, obviously, the Chrome Shop Mafia. Well, actually, it's called Four States Trucks is what it's called, but they call themselves the Chrome Shop Mafia. I've seen the K&L Truck Centers. I've seen both of them, and I actually have pictures of their truck, too, which I have to get the slides for them. I still have stuff in storage. I still have a lot of pictures, including railroad pictures that are in storage that I don't have access to right now, but I'll be getting those out next year. So you'll have a lot more of my memories to look forward to in 2022 and beyond. For now, though, it gives me great pleasure in sharing with you my memories of the day that I met the mob sled.